What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we're going over the market. And then after this, we will have another video. Before you get into the video, guys, let's hit 50 likes in the video. The giveaway winner will be announced today on Instagram and Twitter. And then tomorrow, we're doing another giveaway. Probably 100,000 MT. Maybe a little bit more, but yo, giveaways are key on this channel. If you guys want to sub, like the video. We do giveaways every single week. And I know you guys want to get that God Squad. So I do giveaways. I also sell MT. So if you guys need MT, make sure to hit me up. And uh, yo, we're going to get into this market. We're going to talk about it a little bit about Season 2. We're going to have another video later mostly about Season 2. Um, I guess this might just be like what you should be doing. Or pretty much just market talk in general. Should you sell your cards or whatnot. I decided to sell some of my shoes, man. I have no MT. I had to sell some shoes. I ended up picking Akeem up for the low, and uh, here's what I'm thinking. So since Season 2 is coming, it seems to me that all these cars that they, they drop Super Packs in are going to be outdated besides Idols players. And uh, why is that? Because Season 2 is going to have a bunch of new players. If you guys don't know, the collector level is up to 4,000 cards. I would say there's about 1,200 cards in the game. So I picked up Hakeem for around 32k, 33k. He's up to 50k now. I'm selling him. I gotta get rid of as many cards as possible, but it all depends. So we're gonna go over pricing. I'm gonna tell you if it's worth selling the card or if it's worth keeping. Okay. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we're gonna go over pretty much every single card in this game, and this is the easiest way to make MT right now. Why is that? Well, it's the easiest way to make MT because if you sell your cards at the right time, you're making MT without even realizing it, and that's how I make most of my MT. And I'm going to show you my squad. It's actually pretty damn good. Um, this is the squad I run, man. It's a top squad. It's definitely not the best in the world, but it's most definitely up there in value. And not only that, man, not only do we have Akeem off the bench, we also have two other Mono Ginobili's invested in. So let's get into the video, man. We're, we're already in the video. Um, I just want to show you some other stuff and uh, what I'm doing right now. So let's go over Moses Malone's price. And right now, Moses Malone does look like he's going to stop at this value. Now, is it worth selling? Uh, to be honest, man, some cards you can either sell today, some cards you can sell tomorrow. But here's the thing I want to tell you guys. Season 2 is coming. New cards are coming. New challenges are coming. All of these cards in Season 1 are most likely going to be outdated within a couple weeks. Not only that, are they going to be outdated? Well, here's another tip for you guys. Since new challenges are coming out, there's going you're going to need MT to finish those challenges. I'm thinking I'm going for the next uh, whatever collector level, XP level card there is. So I'm most likely going to sell most of my squad either today or tomorrow besides a couple cards. And we're going to get into those cards. So some cards that I would say keep for now. I'm keeping Magic Johnson for now, man. It's Magic Johnson. He's a tall point guard. We're probably not going to see another tall point guard in the game for a little while in my opinion we're gonna see ben simmons sooner or later i don't think too soon but then again friday could be a flash content we could see some kind of crazy stuff so um magic johnson's honestly right now i would definitely sell lebron james there's not up a lot up here to be honest in my opinion i don't like this lebron james man he's really not that good you look at a steal he's not gonna steal a lot of balls yeah it's lebron james his driving dunk sick he doesn't have that many badges man he has silver badges it's literally mostly silver badges so i'm not totally sure if i do approve of this lebron james i don't think he's one of the best cards in the game and i think for 160k if you could sell him for that value you should most definitely get rid of him he's too expensive magic johnson's a hole for now lebron james is a definite sell now looking at the cheaper diamonds the cheaper pink diamonds should you sell well like i said man mono ginobili is a must keep until the set actually drops or until his price actually rises a ton um let's see how many mono ginobili's are up there as you guys can see mono uh brandon roy's price is dropping big time in value and that is because there is going to be new content coming there's going to be more shooting guards and brandon roy really isn't that that good i love his jump shot that's why i really don't want to get rid of him but as you guys can see 
Mileage only for 100k. It's all a fraud, okay? I'm telling you, he's not going to be under 100k. He's a beast. It's Manu Ginobili. He's going to go up in value once the set drops. There's not that many on the auction. And you guys just have to be patient. If you could get him for the low, I would definitely scoop him. He's going to be an amazing investment. But right now, man, I'm not selling any shooting guards. Brandon Roy, Manu Ginobili, I'm not selling him up, like, at all. Um, other things, man, diamonds. It's completely up to you. I'm kind of nervous, man. It's kind of hard to tell what's coming to season two. But right now, man, Glitch Stockton, is he 100K on PS4? He most likely is. Right now on Xbox, he's not 100K. If you guys want... If you want to sell Stockton, it's up to you. I don't think it's a good time to do so. I really believe that there will be a huge market rise this weekend. I just think that you should sell LeBron whenever you want. It's definitely not. If you need MT bad, sell some of the cards I'm about to show you. Giannis, guys. Giannis isn't a good time to sell. There's a lot up here on the auction. Super packs are still live. Giannis is definitely not a good sell. If you guys want, you could try sniping him out. It's not a good idea. Pretty much overall, it doesn't look like there's any cards that you should sell right now. I don't see any cards that are really rising in value. And it's probably because the Super Packs are still out. Now on Friday, what kind of content are we going to get? Well, pretty much. The content we get Friday is going to make Season 2 kind of crazy. Uh, Clay Thompson, guys, if you did invest in him, it's a good time to sell now. Get your quick MT. He might rise. I did invest in one for around 31k. He's up to around 42,000 MT. I think I invest. Yeah, he's one of my collections. So for 42,000 MT, man, you could get rid of Clay Thompson. He might rise a little bit more, but just to get the MT for now, it's up to you guys. I know some of you are patient, some of you aren't. If you really want to be patient, I would hold on to your cards right now. Um, I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me comments. What the hell should I sell? What the hell should I do? Well, I know another person that I said was worth the investment is Przingis, and he's not rising that much either. To be honest, I think right now is not a good time to sell at all. But then again, no one knows what's coming out Tuesday. So it's literally completely up to you. It's kind of getting scary right now. I'm not completely sure on what exactly should I do. Should I sell right now? Should I not sell right now? It's kind of risky. I'm not going to lie. Right now is definitely very risky. Um, if you want to just get rid of your MT, you just want to get your MT back up, get ready for those solo challenges on, uh, what's it called? On Friday with the new season two, that's completely up to you. Me personally, I'm waiting for the weekend. I think I will make the most MT on the weekend with this squad. If you think about it, man, you're most likely not going to see any of these season one cards and packs for a very long time. And especially this set, man, LeBron James, Moses Malone, they have a chance of rising, even though I think LeBron's just worth the sell. Because honestly, for that value, he's really not worth it, man. Dominique's better, in my opinion. Giannis is better. Diamond Mark Aguirre is just as good. I know people are going to say you're crazy, bro. But realistically, looking at the stats, that's just how it goes, man. I think it's worth selling LeBron. Other, other, every other card, Clay Thompson, that's up to you. In me, in my opinion, I would sell now if you did invest in him. He did go up about 10K from yesterday. But yo, realistically, right now, like what the hell is going on? I like it's scary. I, I don't know. Like tomorrow or Friday, we could see something very big. That's going to make a lot of panic in selling cards. But then again, every freaking Friday or every weekend is a great time to sell because people panic. People always, always sell cards on Friday. And then the Saturday, it's just easier to make MT for us. So like literally. It's all up to you guys, man. Right now, I'm just selling my Hakeem. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a good time to sell. We got to maximize MT profits somehow. And right now, it seems like it's just not a good time to sell. We got to wait a little bit longer. I'm thinking the weekend, maybe even next week to sell your cards. Because to be honest, my squad did drop in value because of that. Uh, those super packs, man. They kind of just screw me over. So, man, to be honest, that's really all I got for the video. Let me know what you guys need any help with down below. I will help everybody in the comment section. I will answer you. I'm going to be home. I'm going to be chilling. If you guys need MT, hit me up. And yo, that's all we got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.